G'day mates, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is episode one of Path to Pro, my new YouTube series where I'm giving myself one month to get as good at Fortnite as possible. But this isn't just about me, I wanna take you guys along for that journey and I wanna make you the best player you can possibly be. If you've ever thought about going pro or just getting better at Fortnite, you don't know where to start, or worse yet, you're putting in a whole bunch of time and you're just not seeing the improvement you want, this is gonna be the video series for you. We're gonna cover specific topics, why you're so good in creative but you're not good in arena or tournaments, why you're struggling to hit your shots, maybe why you're not making the best decisions, things like that are all going to be covered in this video series. But today is episode one, which is going to be the introduction and the most important thing to getting better at anything, including Fortnite. Identifying your weaknesses, figuring out a game plan of how you're going to fix those weaknesses, and then setting up an actual strategy with effective practice. Not just going to creative and doing the same builds you've done done a million times before and then not getting better at the game. Let's set you up with a game plan and using myself as an example of the things you can look out for to make sure you start going pro at Fortnite. All right, so step one, what are your weaknesses? How do you know what your weaknesses are? Some of you might already know this. As soon as I say that, you might know off the top of your head, my aim's not the best and sometimes my edits are a bit shaky or I have really good mechanics, but I make poor decisions or I'm too aggressive, but my builds aren't the best. I wanna be very broad at first, then narrow it down to specifics because that's how you nail down anything. And you might realize there's some parts of your gameplay that you didn't even know were your weaknesses and you thought it was something else entirely. So to start off, when it comes to weaknesses or skills in Fortnite, there's a few broad categories. You have building, you have editing, you have aiming, and you have game sense or just decision making. But most of you guys know that. This is not going to be a super basic guide. I'm going to make sure it applies to anyone of any skill level. Within those different skills though, there's very specific techniques that you need to master to get good at. And that's where you really nail down your weaknesses. When people just say, oh, my aim's bad. That's not good enough. What are you going to do? You're not just going to go into Kovacs or into Fortnite aim trainers and just shoot some targets. What part of your aim isn't good? For myself, for example, I have really, really good shotgun aim, especially with attack. When I have a high fire rate, I'm really, really solid. But when it comes to editing and taking a shot, that's where I struggle. My crosshair placement isn't the best because I over flick my edits. That's why I miss my shots. So you might say I have bad aim, but it's actually I have bad edits. And that's how you get better. You need to identify these spots. So I'm I'm going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to, again, use myself as an example, talk through some of the common examples for you guys, and then work on how you can improve that. Because I hate that most guides out there or most people's knowledge of Fortnite is, oh, you missed your shots, lower your sense. Or your builds aren't very good, raise your sense. It's not that simple. It's not that basic. And I, I just really dislike these common notions. Let's figure out an actual plan of how you can get better. So using myself as an example, what are my biggest weaknesses? My biggest weaknesses is building for height. So I'm not talking about doing super fancy, over the top, crazy high ground retakes. I'm just talking real simple, effective high builds I am not good at. I've just recently started using double movement, which is helping a lot with my side jumps, but I've just always struggled. And the main reason for this is because I play to my strengths. And you might think, Aussie, everyone should play to their strengths. Yes, but not if you're trying to improve. If you're in a tournament and there's money on the line or you really want to win a game, yes, play to your strengths. The problem I have is as soon as I verse a better opponent, as soon as I try to improve as a player or do 1v1s against viewers and I'm versing someone good, I box up. I take it to a box fight because that's my com comfortable area. I can sit in a box and I can usually beat people with decent edits and decent aim, but I really, really struggle when it comes to high builds. But I need to work on that. I need to address my weaknesses, set aside the ego, and start practicing that. So that's what I'm forcing myself to do. I am forcing myself to 1v1 my viewers and players who I know are better than me and force myself to play into my weaknesses, even if it means I get destroyed so I can improve. If every time I verse a good opponent, I box up and take a box fight. Yes, I'm going to win more often than if I build for height, but my overall cap as a player will never improve. Some players I'm not going to be able to beat unless I learn how to build fight. And if I never practice it, I'm going to win some or more of my fights in arena, but I'll never get better. That is going to be the biggest step for a lot of you guys. Dropping the ego, playing to your weaknesses when you're practicing, not your strengths. You can't just verse your friends and then every time you struggle at something, don't try it. 
I could just box up and win 9 out of 10s of my 1v1s. If I try to build fight, I might win 5 out of 10. Yeah, that feels bad, but maybe next week or in a few days, I'll win 6 out of 10. Then I win 7 out of 10 and I start getting better. That's the process you guys need to implement when it comes to figuring out your weaknesses. But you might not be able to just know your weaknesses like me. Try to find a good player that you know, a friend or a pro, 1v1 them and get them to analyze what you're the worst at. No one knows your weaknesses better than someone who's just for you. Hey man, your builds are really good, but whenever you go for your edits, it's really easy to see what you're going for. You go for the same edit too many times. Or hey man, your aim was really good, but every time you edit it, you didn't go for right hand peaks. You'd edit directly in front of me. You got to go further to the left. Things like that. That is how you're going to improve. Or swing by by my streams, go watch any pros, figure out what they're doing that you're not doing. That's the easiest way as well. If you don't have friends who can teach you or help you, and if when you watch the pros, you just don't know what you're doing wrong, the best advice I can ever give you for figuring out your weaknesses is go back and watch your gameplay from your opponent's perspective. Go into replay mode and watch it from their perspective. You will very quickly realize where you're going wrong. Oh man, when I opened that edit, I was so far across. Oh man, when I went to go for that build, he didn't even have a piece behind him. If I just went over the top and dropped down, I could have taken that wall. Or oh, man, my edit are looking really, really slow, or how did I miss this shot? Going back and watching it from your opponent's perspective is the easiest way to pick up your weaknesses. If you just went down and you just died and you have no clue why, that's where I'd go. But also try to reflect on things right after they happen. If you just lost a fight, don't get mad, don't get tilted. What went wrong? Is it just as simple as, oh, I missed that shot? Cool, we're gonna have to work on that. We can talk in future videos about aim training routines to work on specific parts of your aim. That doesn't have to be stressed about too much now. But if you're noticing a pattern, like I said, myself, for example, I notice a pattern. As soon as someone takes my wall because I'm on lower ping, I expect to hold it too much, I panic and I don't have a backup plan. I need to get better at figuring out how to get out of my build quickly if someone takes my wall. I need to not trust I'm always gonna hold it. Things like that, you'll like identify happening time and time again, and then you work on that. Now when I'm in my fights, I'm very consciously aware, okay, if this guy takes my wall, I've left my backside open, or if this guy takes my wall, I'm ready to flip my stairs. Sometimes it's as simple as just practicing the actual pure mechanics, like flipping a, a ramp to make sure you do it quickly. Sometimes it's figuring out exactly what you mentally have to be prepared for in that moment. Now, let's develop an actual strategy to work on what your weaknesses are. Because I haven't actually seen your guys' weaknesses, obviously I can't come up with a specific strategy, but let me identify more of my weaknesses and show you what my strategy is to overcome them and then you'll get the right idea. So, firstly, mindset. Like a lot of the reasons, I need to make myself work into my weaknesses when I'm playing games, especially creative, because it's creative, who cares? I need to start putting myself in uncomfortable situations. That's easy, that's done, I can do that. Secondly, what am I mechanically going to work on to make sure that when I get in those situations, I know what I'm doing. So I am now doing 15 to 20 minutes of free building every single day at the start and end of a stream where I'm working on the exact movements that I'm going to need to get better in free building for height. This isn't talking, I'm not trying to hit out crazy face sway maneuvers. I'm trying to hit out actual solid high ground retakes. The ones that you see pro players do in fights when they're not just trying to be flashy for no reason. So what I'm working on is just reinforced high wall side jumps, just being able to jump out to the side, get two walls up and land on a flat. Then I'm going to try and advance that to also landing on a ramp so I can keep my momentum. Just that. I'm not picking 10 million different things to work on. I'm being very, very specific. Once I can get down a very solid, just high wall side jump, then I'm going to move into how do I predict where opponents are so then I can box them and peace control them. This might be super basic to some of you guys, but this is what you need to do. Nail down a maneuver or a simple part of the game that you can now drill every day to work on getting better at that. This isn't the only thing I'm doing. I'm also doing a whole bunch of edit courses, specifically Raiders Box Fight Part 2. I love the fact that it has aiming in between the edit courses. I'm trying to work mostly on the maneuvers that I mess up the most in game. Something as simple, for example, is I know that whenever I'm on a cone, I miss up. I mess up my wall edits a lot more because I'm a little bit raised up. A lot of the edit practice I've been doing is on a floor. So I'm, I'm making myself and forcing myself to do more of the edit course where I'm finding myself on cones more. Things as simple as that. Trying to figure out what you're doing wrong and then go drill the mechanics. And then when you're in a game, mentally force yourself to play into those weaknesses and see if you're getting better. It's the only way to become a better all-rounded player. 
don't worry, I'm gonna be doing specific videos on exactly what my edit course routines are and I'm gonna be tracking my progress as I get better. I want this to be a guide for you guys, but I also want it to be entertaining and fun to watch. I wanna show you guys my story of me improving and hoping it motivates you guys because I've been playing Fortnite for a while. I'm better than what I lead on in my videos. I think a lot of you guys think I'm a complete scrub. I'm pretty decent for how little I play the game, but that's because I'm a very reflective person who can figure out how to get better and the thousands of hours I spend watching players lets me know what I should be doing. I've just got to get these boomer fingers to be fast enough to actually do it. So a lot of what I'm going to be working on is mechanics. Maybe what a lot of you guys need is game sense, but I'm still going to include those videos in there. And the parts that I'm not good at when it comes to those free building and how to 1v1, I'm going to bring in some coaches to get their perspective as well. So don't worry. I know today's video was a bit more vague. That's because I want to get you guys started off on the right step, introduce the series. My future videos will be a lot more detail. They'll be about what edit courses you should you be doing, why I'm doing certain edits and what I'm practicing. This is just the intro. Last but not least, the final step and in introduction to improving is mentality. Admitting that you're not as good as what you think you are or not as good as you want to be and you're going to improve. Dropping the ego is going to be the biggest step in improving as a player and I genuinely think all of you guys watching this have the potential to go pro or at least be very, very good at the game with way less effort and way less time if you get your mentality right. If I can do it, genuinely anyone can. So... That does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please chuck a like on it. Let me know in the comments section down below any topics or any areas you specifically want me to work on. If you haven't already and you want to see these more videos, please subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.